All right, hey guys. It's Ian with motorcycling again. All right, I just got done getting gas, putting the gas in the bike. What I'm gonna do now is uh, head out for a ride. It's sunny out, 50 degrees. And I'm gonna put my visor down, sun visor anyways. And then uh, we're gonna go for a ride. Make sure we're recording. We are recording. Good to go. Okay. So yes, the kickstand is up. All right. Um, we got a full tank of gas, and uh, it's a very busy gas station right now. And let's see if we can get out of here. Oh, here we go. Yep, and I see a bunch of gravel. Awesome. This gas station is always so busy, and then look at all this gravel. Woohoo! Fun stuff. Let's see if I can get out of here alive. Okay. Alright. Let's go for a little ride. It's, uh, it's really nice outside right now. This is perfect riding weather. 50 degree weather with my fall jacket. Fall spring jacket, which is awesome! Alright. Visor down. So the topic for today is why I ride a motorcycle or why, you know, why I own a motorcycle but in general. And um, my reasons might not be the same as everyone else's. Everyone's got their own reasons. But um, my first reason, there are three main reasons why I own a motorcycle. The first reason is that I come from a country. I was born in Vietnam. Um, as a kid, I, I basically lived on a motorcycle because I didn't have a choice. That was the way of living. Uh, the part of Vietnam that I'm from, we could only go 15 miles an hour. That's the fastest we can go. One five, 15 miles an hour. And, and uh, you know, to me that was just an everyday thing. That's just normal. But then when I moved here to the States, um, we came here in the March of 1992. And it was snowing outside, so there was no motorcycle on the road or scooters. There was cars everywhere, and, and they were going like 65, 70 miles an hour on the highway. And I remember my uncle, he's a crazy driver, and he literally would weave in and out of traffic, and I almost got sick of it because I wasn't used to going 60 miles an hour. And then uh, shortly after that, my dad wanted a motorcycle, um, and my mom had said no because everything moved so fast here. She said that he would kill himself on a motorcycle, which I really don't blame her because Oh, great traffic. Awesome. Oh, man, seriously. Oh, I run into traffic. Great. And so, honestly, I don't blame her for not letting him buy a motorcycle or suggesting that he doesn't buy a motorcycle because it is really, it's, it's really more risky here in the States because we, uh, you know, then again, there are a lot of risks in, in Vietnam too. Uh, they're different risks. They're just more crowded and things are just crazy over there. But anyways, so um, I've always been curious to see what it's like to own a motorcycle in the States, um, what it's like to go 60 miles an hour. The need, the need, need for speed runs in my family, uh, my blood. Um, we like to go fast, at least my dad and I and my brother does. Um, but, uh, <coughs> and that's how that pretty much goes. And so we, um, it, it wasn't really until my father-in-law, who also owns a motorcycle, um, took me on a ride on his, his Honda Valkyrie. And, and I got, I got in the back of that bike, and it was the only time we ever, I ever went on it. And after that, I didn't want to go back on it because I wanted to ride myself. Number one, I couldn't see where he, what he was doing in front. I couldn't see in front of him. Uh, I could only see to the sides. But the fact of the matter is that the, the wind blowing, touching my body at such a, you know, at even 40 miles an hour was a lot faster than what I'm used to as a kid. So I was, I got even more curious. There's a screwdriver on the middle of the road. Awesome. And so I was like, well, this is, this is awesome. I would love to, uh, to own a motorcycle and ride myself and see if I can learn how to ride on my own. 
and go places. And then with that, I it also saves gas because I, you know, ask them how much the gas mileage. I start looking it up, and it, it, these bikes get about 30 to, you know, anywhere from 30 to 50 miles per per gallon, which is freaking awesome. So I like, you know, in the, during the summer, I can totally ride that to work and not waste gas in my car. Anyway, so that's the first reason. I would, you know, I grew up on a motorcycle, had no choice, and then. Um, meeting someone here in the states who own a motorcycle you know the machines look a lot different and uh, I was just totally curious so the curiosity is pretty much the first reason uh, the second reason is you know it frees my soul it sets my soul free Riding with the wind in my face with the wind just even with a full face helmet on um, it, it completely sets my soul so much more free so to give you an example I would have a 12 hour day of work um, and I would feel great. L literally, 12 hours of standing all day. I work in retail, so 12 hours of standing all day, and I get out. The sun is setting, and uh, it's a nice, beautiful 70 degrees. Sun is setting, and I literally get on the bike, turn the bike on. This thing just roars and and wakes wakes up and says, "I'm ready to to be set free." And I totally forgot. I literally got on the bike for like not even two minutes. And I totally forget that um, that I had work that day. That it's the same exact day, but I totally forgot that I went to work. And that's how I feel on the bike, is that nothing nothing stops you. You have the freedom to go wherever. I mean, yeah, in the car you have the freedom to go wherever, but not like this. Let me put the visor down a little bit because I don't know if this wind is coming in. So I'm just going to put it down just a little bit. Okay. Okay. All right. And and that's really how I felt about um, about the bike the first couple times that I went on it. The first couple times I went to work on it. And it just sets my soul completely free. And I... And, so the 12 hour workday is a prime example. Another prime example is when I just want to think. I just want to uh, not think about something with a deadline, you know, whether, whether it's to get paperwork done for work, whether it's get training done for work. Uh, I, I just want to get on the bike and think about whatever I feel like thinking that day. And that's how I feel uh, that I can get on the bike, go riding wherever with no destination, go in circles, go up to, to Wisconsin. I live near the Wisconsin border. You know, just go over the border, come back home. Um, and, you know, about an hour ride sets my mind so free. And I just forget of all the, the problems that, you know, I don't necessarily have drama in my life, but, I, you know, I do have a job and I do have bills to pay. So all that goes away for about an hour or two. And it's, it's like enough it's just the right amount of freedom to let me leave reality for for a few you know for an hour or two and that is just enough to set my soul free and with that being said it you know it kind of goes into the third reason which is it's better than drugs i i don't you know they always say the whole saying of um you don't see motorcycles out in the therapist's office, and there's a reason for that. And the reason why is because, because there are times in my life that, and we all have this, that you just get depressed in your life because things aren't working out. You know, you think, think you think things are working out. Sorry about what the heck was that? I don't know what I just did there. But you think that things are working out, and you. Uh, you try to get over one hurdle and then another hurdle pops up and you try to jump over that and it's just life is just getting difficult and you sometimes get it you want to go into a, 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 a hole and you stay there and not come back and to try and oh to try and alleviate that to try and get away from that and not put myself in that position I find things to do to keep my mind busy and, and this is what helps me do that this helps me keep my mind busy and getting on a motorcycle is more therapeutic than I can ever ask for. It's a lot cheaper than going to a therapist. It's a lot uh, uh, cheaper than going on prescription drugs. It's a lot cheaper than, you know, doing drugs like weed or alcohol or whatever it is that uh, some of us use in order to uh, get through the day. 
I, I would rather have wind as my therapy than, uh, than an actual person sitting there telling me what my problem is when I know what my problem is. And uh, trying to figure that out is, is one thing. And trying to have someone telling me and paying someone to tell me what my problem is a whole other thing. And, and I'm not saying that this is for everybody at all. I'm just saying this is for me. Everybody takes, you know, um, handles their problem differently. And I, I handle my problems differently. I handle my problems by riding a motorcycle. This is this is how I handle my problem. Um, when I'm on my when I'm on the motorcycle, this helps me. <clears throat> this helps me figure out how to solve my problem. And since my mind is so much more clear, um, I can figure out how to solve the problem much quicker and easier. And I usually come up with a. a with an answer on the ride. So about 45 minute ride, if there's a problem between my family members, me and, my, me and a family member, uh, a work problem, a scheduling problem, trying to figure out how to get everybody to get together, uh, or, or just some huge issue that, that is causing everybody stress. It's, you know, it can, it can be money related, it can be anything related. Any, any kind of problem, I would usually try and figure it out on the bike. So. That's that's a third reason is because I, I don't want to have um, I don't want to be dependent on drugs. I'd rather be dependent on this bike. And the thing is, this is not you know I would rather be on, on this and use this as a way of uh, thinking through my problems rather than be depending on something to uh, to mask to to block to to sweep the problem under the rug per se. Uh, I'm actually productive on the bike, if that makes any sense. You know, it seems like when I'm on the bike, I'm not doing anything. And, you know, when I tell my family I'm going out for a ride, to them, they're like, uh, you're not going to work. Uh, why aren't you working? Or, uh, or they'll say, well, you know, don't you have laundry to do? You have things to clean? And I'm like, well, I'm actually trying to figure out how to do something on the bike. So I'm going to get on the bike, and then when I come home, I'll clean, and, and I'll take care of whatever I need to take care of at home. And I'm more refreshed and things get done more quickly and it just becomes more efficient. So that's one way to look at it, uh, for me at least. And so, yeah, so those are the three main reasons why I, I ride a motorcycle or, or own one. Um, it's a form, it's a way of, of it's a way of me um, understanding my problems and trying to fix the problems without having to depend on drugs. Um, it it's also has something to do with my curiosity. Oh, Green Arrow. Yay, I love Green Arrow. Okay, it's yellow now. Um, <clears throat> so, um, so that's, that's my vlog on why I ride a motorcycle. Uh, if you guys got any other reasons that's not what I, you know, what I talked about, leave it in the comment section. I'd, I'd love to hear what you guys, why some of you ride a motorcycle. I mean, there's lots of reasons. Um, I think generally people have a similar reason as mine. Um, mine is gas, gas efficiency, curiosity, the freedom of the wind. Uh, it sets my soul free, the freedom of my soul, letting my soul free. Uh, the freedom of to think on the bike with nobody with me, telling me what I'm driving correctly, or, um, oh, hello, and, you know, and then, um, <clears throat> and I would rather do this than spend on drugs, spend money on drugs, I'd rather spend money on this bike than anything else. Alright, well this is Team Motorcycling, I think the battery's running out, I'm going to stop the vlog right here, I will see you next time, thanks for watching.